All right, let's get into today's new skill, which is exponent challenge questions, really tough exponent questions on the ACT math. Before I jump right into the hard questions, I want to give you a quick little warm up on them. Really, through multiplication of exponents, what do you do? You add. This would be x to the 12th. Through division, what do you do? You subtract. Power of a power. x to the 7th to the 5th. What do you do? x to the 35th. Multiply. Now, down here, a negative exponent. What do you do with a negative exponent? It actually sends it to the bottom, really. It becomes 1 over x to the 7th. Again, an exponent, a negative exponent in the top sends it to the bottom, making it, uh, making it x to the 7th positive. Help me out over here. This is going to be fifth root of x to the 7. Again, this is the power that stays, while the denominator is the power that becomes the root. Please don't screw that up. Let's test it all the time. And the last skill here to see is, well, we already kind of dealt with negative exponents. What do we say? A negative exponent to the top will send it to the bottom, and a negative exponent in the bottom will send it to the top. Really, we have y to the fifth over x to the seventh. This is your quick little review on exponent rules. If you need to, obviously, go back and watch this part one more time before we get into the hard questions. Let's do it. Our first question comes to us from the depths of an ACT, really towards the end of the ACT. And this is one of my questions that's really tough. Really, uh, a lot of my students don't get this question right. But let's see if you do. What I would do here is, first of all, simplify the inside first. Really, what's 2 divided by 8? That's just going to be a 4 on the bottom. What about these? These x to the negative 2s, where will they go? Where they're going to go up top. Remember, a negative power in the bottom will join the top. If there are already three in the top, how many x's will there be on the top? Five. So we have x to the fifth on the top. Of course, a four down below. Now help me out with these y's. y to the negative fifth, where will those go? Well, those are going to go down. Remember, a negative exponent in the top goes to the bottom. And join the already six there. So we have y to the 11 on the bottom. And this is z to the 8th and z to the 3rd, those just subtract really 8 minus 3 is z to the 5th on the top. All of this to the negative second power. So what's going to happen? What do you do with power of a power? Again, power of a power, it's going to distribute. Essentially, you'll see that this negative 2 will hit here, 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 and even the 4. So let's see what happens. I have x to the negative 10th, z to the negative 10th, all over, 4 to the negative 2nd, y to the negative 22nd. And now we're just about done. As soon as we realize that, again, this negative power in the top will go to the bottom, this negative power in the top will go to the bottom. These negative powers in the bottom will both go to the top. Your final answer is k. That's a tough one, but hopefully that makes a little bit more sense now. When you're ready, join me on the next question on 54 over here on the right-hand side. This is employing that skill we just looked at, really turning these radicals into rational exponents, really fractional exponents. In that case, how could you rewrite this one? This is x to the 4 sixths. This is x to the 4 thirds. Well, luckily, doesn't this simplify a little bit? I think it does. I think it's x to the 2 thirds times x to the 4 thirds. In that case, wait a second. When you're multiplying through exponents like that, what do you do again? Oh, you add. And whenever you're adding fractions, don't you need a common denominator? We already have a common denominator. Great. So it's just going to be x to the 6 thirds. Better yet, x to the second. I really like the answer of j. Any questions on either of these questions, please holler off in the comments, but we do have two more. Let's come down here for some of these. These are still pretty hard. If you would like, try this by yourself. Pause the, pause the video here and try. But if not, please just watch along. First of all, simplifying this top piece would be x to the 18th. Again, through division you subtract. All over x to the negative second. 
ooh, really, 1 over x to the second. We kind of talked about that already. It would become x to the negative second. From here, a few different ways you could see this, but this negative 2 will join the top. Really, remember, a negative in the bottom will go to the top. Thus, how many x's do I have in the top? x to the 20. I really like answer choice K here. Last question of the day is 51. How would I do a question like this? This one is actually kind of tough. Well, first of all, through multiplication here, you add. So you have 3 to the x plus 4 all over power of a power, which is 3 to the 20th, equal to, oh, what is 1 9th? 1 9th, that's actually 3 to the negative 2. That's a skill called disguise. I explained that in one of my other exponent videos. Again, what is 1 9th? It's not really 1 9th. I think it's actually 3 to the negative 2. From here, you have a few ways of seeing this, but really, I already know that the answer is D, 14. Why? Well, 14 plus 4 would give you 18. 18 minus 20 would be the only way you get negative 2. I'll say that one more time. Again, X has to be 14 because 14 plus 4 gets you to 18. Then through subtraction, really, 18 minus 20 would be the only way that you get to negative 2. The answer is D. There are other ways to try this question. Really, one of the, another easy way in case you totally forgot your exponent rules is just try answering using the answer choices. Just plug 5 in, plug 11 in, plug 14 in until one. Uh, if you do it eventually, you will find that you get the right answer 1 ninth. So feel free to do that. If you don't know these exponent rules or if you freeze on the, on the test on Saturday, feel free to throw these answer choices in. That's totally another way that works. So I'll zoom out and you can see all of our questions from the start. If you have any questions on any of these, please holler off in the comments. I'll get back to you. If this video helped you, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.